Hi, now we are going to have a close look at each and every tag which are going to use inside body tag. In my last session, I taught you how to frame a sample HTML document, what is the basic syntax for that and how to run and see the output for that HTML document. In this tutorial, I am going to teach you some basic HTML tags. See, I told you earlier that HTML is only for giving contents for your website. The content may be either a paragraph, an heading, an image or some linking tags or a table or some form element. All these things are only content for your web page. All these can be given only by using HTML tags. So now I am going to teach you few of the tags which, will, which we will use inside body tag. Let me start now. So in my test project I have this, I am going to edit this. We will create ok fine. See now there is no element inside the body tag. I told you earlier that what are the elements which are going to give inside body tag will be reflected in your output screen. So the first tag which I am going to teach you is heading tags. What is the use of heading tags? A heading tag is used to give some heading for your paragraph or your web page itself. The heading tag is of six types. H1 to H6. See opening tag followed by some sample content. Any content you can place any content <coughs> between the opening and closing tag of your html tag but finally we have to close the html tag clear i told you earlier that h1 tag is of heading tag is of six types four five six h2 h3 h4 h5 1 h6 likewise we have to close all the tags h2 h3 h4 h5 and h6 now go save your file and let's see the output for this clear see h1 to h6 look at the difference the h1 tag will be larger in size Whereas the H6 will be smaller in size. So, heading tags varies from H1 to H6. If you need some intermediate size, you can use H3. Or if you need very small size, you can go with H6. If you need some extra large size, you can go with H1. Is it clear? These are the types of heading tags. Now, my next tag will be paragraph tag. That is to give a single line text or multiple line text, we will be using only this paragraph tag. The tag for that is P. Now I am typing some dummy content inside this. And after that I have to close my paragraph tag. Clear? Now we have to save this file. Now we will check the output for this. Clear? Got it? So what all I entered inside the paragraph tag came as a output in my display screen. So if now I am entering some 4 to 5 lines of text, I save this. See, the paragraph tag is used to give either a single line or a multiple line of text. Now, some people will have some doubt. See, I have to end this in first line and I have to bring this to the next line. So, we have to break this paragraph and bring it to the next line. For that, in HTML, we have a tag called break. So, if I am giving slash br, this is a syntax for break tag. Look, break tag doesn't have a closing tag. So, I will be using like slash br 
now I am using one more break tag here so wherever I want to break the paragraph or any line I can use this break tag now I am saving this now look at the output see the output before I am running now see can you see it is break into multiple lines so if you want many lines to break you can use that much number of break tags break tag is nothing but it is used to bring the content to the next line clear so now I have taught you heading tags paragraph tag and then break tag the next tag is very important tag image tag how to embed image inside your web page see all the websites now we are seeing in Google will definitely have an image in it so how we should do that for embedding an image we have a tag called img this is the tag name followed by attribute called src what is src src is nothing but source that is where we are going to get the image now for example I will download a simple image from Google images Google will take some images like this it will go with this so I am saving this image save your image inside your project folder I have already created a folder called test so I am saving this there sample I am saving the image as sample clear now go back to your project folder test see see my image got it so I got my image before embedding the image into the website we have to follow a small step create a folder for your images see you will not be embedding only one image in a website there might be 100 to 200 or 1000 number of images you might use in a website all those images should be maintained in a folder called images this is the best method to use image now see coming back to my code the source will be where is my image inside my images folder so I am giving the name of my folder slash sorry slash then go inside the image folder what is the name of my image sample so sample dot extension to check the extension right click go to properties and see here it is a jpeg image so you have to give extension as dot jpg clear and many people will be having a doubt that all the html tags add closing tag what about image tag image tag doesn't have closing tag so I will be closing with slash clear this is how you will be using image tag now file save or go back to your clear see I got my image in my website this is how we will be embedding image in our web page clear so by this I have taught you heading tags paragraph tag break tags image tag and one more important thing is anchor tag anchor tags is nothing but linking tags that is linking may be either inside your web page or outside your web page so anchor tag is used to link between pages the syntax for anchor tag is a href close the tag followed by content go to what page go to google and then close the anchor tag now this will be displayed in output screen what is this href href is nothing but hypertext reference that is when I click this button where it should go now see I am giving a text called go to google 
So when I click this, I need to redirect to Google page. So I'm going to my browser, copying the URL. See, I'm copying the URL of Google and then I am placing in my hypertext reference. So when I click this go to Google, it will go to my Google page. That is the concept. Now I am saving this. Now let's check the output. I'm refreshing this. Can you see? Go to Google. The output of the anchor tag will be always blue in color followed by underline. So when I click this go to Google where it should go. Now see the link. It is in my test.html. Now I am clicking this go to Google. Can you see? It's refreshing. Where it is going? Google.com. Because I have given it should go to Google.co.in. So it is re redirecting myself to Google.co.in. Likewise, whatever link you are placing it here, when you click the text, it will go to that particular link. This is the main use of anchor tag. Clear? So in my next tutorial, I will be teaching you list tags, tables and HTML forms. Catch you in, your, catch you in my next tutorial. Bye bye. See you.